Tade, it was a good performance today. Man, I am so, so happy, Robbie. I am so, so happy. Uh, I'm going to start by saying, um, you know, I, I had my, my heart in my mouth um, when Redmond had that chance. And I was like, you know, I started speaking Pigeon English. I was like, what did they happen? Like, what did they happen? I was so scared because I thought we were going to score. Next thing, I think it was some few minutes, you know, later, we scored a goal. Wonderful goal. Some people were arguing Before with that. that goal, did you think we should have had, you know, if we hadn't got the goal, a penalty? Yeah. It, looked, it looked like... Um, yeah. It yeah. looked like it should have been the referee weren't going to give it. So, yeah. but it was, so it's good that Lacazette finished it off. Yeah, I, I thought I thought he was gonna I, I thought he was gonna give it if we had lost that chance. This is what I thought, anyways. Because um, to me, it looked like he weren't going to give it. Now nah, I thought he was going to give it. In my own opinion, I thought he was going to give it because that was the blatant penalty. There was no doubt about it. But you know, for this guy to have put that goal away, then that kind of stood at the end of the day. But I thought he was going to give it. Maybe you know, give them the advantage if we miss it, then he's going to call it back. Is what I thought. Is your but, only criticism of today the fact that we should have scored more goals? Absolutely. Absolutely. I think we should have scored. Um, Kolasinac made about how many runs? He made about two or three. In fact, before I you know, talk about that, Kolasinac will be. I need to give this to the two of them. They were the driving force between, you know, behind all our attacks today. They, in fact, Kolasinac was more like a striker, as far as I'm concerned, a midfielder. Because he was playing left, but he was mainly drifting towards the middle. And they couldn't handle that because they didn't expect him to be there. And he kept on driving, you know, doing a lot of skills. And it will be for me as well. This is someone that gets a lot of stick. But you can see what he's actually made up of. That guy feeds off confidence. And because, you know, Arsenal as a, as a, as a club, if you look at all their Instagram posts, they always post a lot of posts about Iwobi. Do you know why? It's not because, yeah, they love him the most. No, it's because they, they see the criticism that this guy gets all the time. And you see they're always bigging him up. That's what it will be needs. That's the only way it will be can actually perform. And he's actually showing it out there. And you can see the standing ovation he got when you know he got injured because it wasn't going to be substituted, it was going to be like a Z, you know. But because of the injury, he had to you know leave the pitch. But you can see the standing ovation he's getting. And I'm not, I'm not going to go over the moon and say, okay, yeah, he's going to be consistent because there's sometimes he's going to have that bad patches and then you know all the haters or you know all these people that criticize him will come back again. It's possible it's going to happen. But the point I'm simply trying to make is today was a very clean performance and it was down to teamwork right from the defense to the attack, you know, the midfield. It was really down to that. The Southampton thing they actually came to fight. It was like World War II for them because they were actually just trying to tackle, closing every single player down. And one player I'm happy they didn't score against us today, I mean it's a clean sheet, is Charlie. Yeah, because I was actually praying that Charlie is not going to score. Charlie Austin. Charlie Austin, whatever his name is. I was hoping that guy was not going to score because every, I think he has a record against Arsenal. Every match he plays, he scores. Even if they lose, he will score. I'm like, is he a cause or something, you know? So I was very, very happy. And as you can see, I'm smiling. I'm happy, you know. Big games to come against, obviously, Bournemouth at home yeah. here. Um, and then the big one, the North London derby. Yeah. Uh, if we can beat Bournemouth, go into that game with some confidence, a chance to possibly beat them. Well, I'm going to say, if, if Burnley can do it, we can do it. Burnley were at home, but going, I mean, here at home, we've got a great record against Tottenham, but every time we seem to go to either Wembley or White Hart Lane over recent years, they've turned us over. There's always a day that things can change. Charlie Austin didn't score against us today, yeah. then that will also change. Have some confidence, Robbie. That's all I can say. I am not, I am not Kelechi, but please have some confidence. Thank you very much, people.